All right, let's see if this works. This is uh, part one of uh, a two-part series, How I Got Six Rabbits in My House by Surprise. Um, yeah, there we go. There's a kitten. Um, anyway, Leo, you know, get off of there. Um, here are the five babies. Um, I'm going to start with them and start instead of the mother uh, just because they're cuter and uh, everybody seems to be interested in them and not the mom. Um, as you can see, there's a cat here and um, you know we have uh, four cats, two dog, three dogs in this house and uh, none of them seem to be very all that concerned about the fact that there's rabbits in the house. They just kind of accept it, and which is good. You know, it could be a lot worse. Um, so the deal is, uh, just briefly, we got a stray rabbit in the house we took in and uh, really had no idea about it. Um, didn't even know if it was male or female. And um, so about a week, no, about three weeks later, um, my wife had uh, gone away for a few days and came back. And sure enough, look at this, we had uh, five baby rabbits. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit, see if I can do that. Let's see, just going to maximize the cuteness here. There we go, they're all sleeping together. Leo, leave him alone. Um, so uh, at that point, we had five baby rabbits and one rabbit. Did a little research, found out that uh, that meant that the first rabbit was female. I figured that out. So um, it's been about two weeks. Uh, their eyes are open now. Uh, they're still nursing. They are, we haven't any idea about the gender of these. I mean, if we, hey, come on. If we don't have any idea about the gender of a real adult rabbit, you think we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out for the baby ones? No, no, not yet. Um, so anyway, we've uh, given them all names, kind of uh, in relation to their personality and their attributes. This one uh, is the one I like to call the gray one. It's the gray one. And um, if I, uh, I think if I had a favorite, and I don't, this would be my favorite. He's kind of the most bunny-like. He look, kind of looks the most bunny-like. Anyway, there you go. Um, back up a bit here. Here you go. Get all the bunnies again. Leo, come on. Jesus Christ. Leave him alone. Um, we have... This one kind of looks like a hamster. I don't know. I had a hamster about this color when I was a kid. And it uh, always reminds me of a hamster. But it's a bunny. Um, and we've got the black one. He's black. The thing about these bunnies is um, you pick them up and um, unfortunately their first tendency is to pee on you. So, uh, I guess they're scared. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, you end up getting a lot of pee in your hands. So, um, then we've got these two. These two are interesting. This is a white guy. He's got black eyes. I didn't give him those. He's got black eyes and some black markings on him. So, he's white and with little black spots. This guy looks like him. But the black is uh, it's a little lighter, a little grayer, a little more gray. So we call her uh, toner low or, you know, replace toner cartridge. Depends how we feel, you know. Uh, so those are them. They're two weeks old. They are, um, as I said, still nursing. They're not going to be ready to go uh, anywhere for geez, six more weeks five, six more weeks, something like that. They'll get weaned, they'll eat food, they'll do all their thing. Right now they just kind of sleep and wiggle around a lot and kind of huddle and that's, you know, so we have a lot in common. Um, and then there's Leo who thinks that they're a play toy and they're not. He's, he's not, there's Leo, there we go, Leo, here's your cameo. Um, 
Leo doesn't harm them. He just wants to play with them. Um, but luckily, they're all very healthy. Mom's doing a great job. Um, and next video I will do with the mom, and I'll tell you a story about how we got the first rabbit in our house. All right, thanks.